here in this part of the lecture series on programming with MATLAB or Octave, we are looking at functions and how to program them. So functions are sub-programs for the execution of the same task whenever you have the same job to be done over and over again it's easier to write sub-programs which you either uh, integrate in your program in the bigger program or execute from the command window and we'll look at that how to program then just let's get started it's um, a bit a few things you need to pay attention to and I would like to discuss them one after the other so let's just um, start with MATLAB so let's assume the simple task is to calculate the sum and the difference of two input variables and I'll go through all the steps uh, needed for a function so the editor is here first word is function and when you write that actually it switches color when it's there so it's blue it's actually indicating um, that it's a special word at the first line this line needs to be top so nothing uh, uh, before that the uh, function needs to have a name for instance let's call it function sum diff with one f we need to save this function with the same name that is right here function sum diff i can hardly see spot the little letters there <laughs> hope they are right and um, yes save that function sum diff then we need two input variables let's call them them in one in two uh, these variables are needs to be given uh, when calling the function and some output variables or we could even call them s and d for sum and difference okay so that is the structure input after the file name with brackets and here the other uh, brackets and the output variables or oh, let's call it out one to make um, clear what it is and all the stuff that is calculated comes underneath so the output is calculated from the in1 plus in2 out2 is the difference and that's basically all you need you can't just run this uh, function whenever you would like to press the green button here it's stored but it's telling you that there's not enough input arguments the function needs to be called from the uh, from another program or from the uh, command window so uh, it's saved and stored and can be called from the command window by giving in some um, variables that is function sum diff is called by uh, handing over the variables a and b and when you press that um, oh 
Okay, I just had a problem reading my own file name. The screen is pretty small and MATLAB is already hinting where the problem is. Uh, it's um, sensitive whether it's a small or capital F. So yes, I would like to call the function uh, with a small f. So better change the name here, um, save it afterwards that the name here is the same as the uh, as it is stored. So we have changed that and hopefully for the better when calling the function now with uh, in the command window we get one answer a and b b was 7a3 so the output is just one number 10 that's the first output here in the function if you would like to see all output variables you need to spare that out that is with the same notation with the brackets the square brackets cd um, function sum diff a b and then the two output variables are given. The good thing is it doesn't matter whether it's A or and B or anything else. So let's try that out. B comma A thing is calculated. Different results. So it could be um, um, repeated with whatever input variable and it works. Okay, that's basically all and the good news is it's uh, quite powerful. It, um, you don't even need to specify whether in this case the input variables E and F are um, just numbers or vectors or matrices. So let's try that out in case um, E is a vector, F is a vector. The whole thing uh, still works. Right, fine. Um, and that makes uh, life easy whenever you have a task, um, a repetitive task, let's say a thousand different uh, values where, uh, and you always need to calculate something with those values. So um, there are a few more um, things to know. One is uh, you might uh, wonder whether these variables out one and two are actually there. When you look at the variables, I just used the uh, command whose to display all the variables, then they don't show up. Yes, these variables are just used by MATLAB while the um, function is executed and after that um, they are not uh, showing up and um, uh, not uh, stored. A um, few more hints. Don't forget to actually save the function after making any changes. That is one error that always appears. Um, you could write some comments here. Comment, this is my first function. Yes. And perhaps my name with an initial. Um, you could, I'll just save that. And you could use that as a sort of help. Whenever you would like to know what the function is actually doing, you could just write help function sum diff, that is the name, and you would get all the lines here in the comment section. 
And that's similar or it's basically the same as for all the other uh, commands in MATLAB where you uh, press help. They are programmed in, a, in a, the same way as function subroutines, which are called uh, from within other programs or the command uh, window. A few last comments. Don't try to write a clear all or something like that into the function. Uh, that wouldn't work uh, because you don't want to clear everything up front. You want to work with that. Next thing is uh, the output variables could be as in a structure or in a format as you want. It could be just one uh, uh, variable or two or three or whatever or here it could be a different uh, let's say we take a, a third one O3 and take O3 to be a vector with these two values. We save that again and call that again with these variables a and b. That is, uh, hmm. <laughs> I need to write that again. Um, where's a and b? There, or b and a? There. Um, pressing just the calling the function in the same way with just two variables here, it stays the same. Nothing has changed. But it would change when giving in here a third output variable. Yes, then the D would be the O3, what is called O3 in the function and would be uh, would contain both values. So that is quite helpful. You could stuff as many parameters in here as input variables could doesn't need to be two could be more and could have many many output variables all the matlab um, files and commands are programmed in a similar way uh, so at least some uh, are even uh, open and you could have a look at those let's say let's have a look at the command for the standard deviation std then the structure is function y equals standard deviation from some variable input variable and then some explanation and then underneath even something uh, uh, some indication what is calculated. So the structure of the MATLAB sub uh, commands is uh, the same as uh, functions. Okay, I think that's more or less all um, and the hard work is to find mistakes and errors when you are programming yourself.